are back and give another GCSS Army helpful video. And today we're actually talking about motor pool operations, right? So we're going to be talking about test measurement diagnostic equipment or your TMD program. So this is going to be a, a part one of a, a several part series of videos covering TMD. But part one is just setting up your, your program, right? So what is TMD, right? So this is all the equipment that we use on a daily basis that requires some type of calibration or service interval, right? So think of this just like we do our weapons, mass, sea burns, or rolling stocks. We have all these intervals set that we must perform a service, right? So some equipment that requires Team DE would be like your electronic test equipment, your grims, uh, your pass machine for your sea burn, your torque wrenches, your multimeters, some of the MSD V3 test kits um, require Team DE. Most importantly is your small arm gauges, right? So if you are a unit that is gauging weapons, make sure that your gauges are calibrated and they're good to go. At the unit level, your 50 cal headspace and timing, right? Make sure that that stuff is enrolled in Team D and is calibrated. So a few regulations or technical bulletins that cover Team D is uh, AR 750-43, TB 750-25, and AR 750-1. Now, just like any other piece of equipment in the Army, AR-750-1 states that even TMD equipment should get PMCS, all right? So make sure that you're filing those 5988s in accordance with ARAMS. So to set up a TMD program, right? So what do you need to do? So TMD program, one, like any other program in the uh, maintenance world, requires additional appointment orders. There's, you should always identify a primary and alternate in the event that one cannot pick up or drop off so that you're off the delinquency rate, all right? So keep that in mind. Two, you should be trained. So you can actually go to Ohms and search TMD coordinator and you can actually take the TMD coordinator course. And if you're highly motivated, you can probably get it done in two to three days. So some ways to manage your TMD program. So these are some tips that I've used that have worked for me in the past. One, I add them to my DTMS training schedule, right? Just like we add our rolling stock and our weapon services to our DTMS, or we're supposed to, put these on there. Just like your small arms uh, small arms services, if it's due on the 28th, come the 29th, it's delinquent, right? So make sure you plan ahead and plan accordingly, right? Two, just like our rolling stock, you can do maintenance plans for your team E. I highly encourage it. Um, it's a way for you to track it so when the, your battalion brigade pulls your data it can they're able to identify hey they're tracking their team d so one area in team d that normally gets forgotten is the c burn right and your combo equipment make sure that if you have equipment that is identified in those areas it is enrolled in team d so like i said if you go to tb 750-25 you can look at the checklist and you can see what uh Equipment needs to be enrolled in TMD or get with your TMD lab. They should be able to provide you a master list, right? So hope this video was helpful. Like I said, this is only part one of the series of TMD. Uh, in part two, we're actually going to go into RCOP and I'm going to show you how to pull your TMD, TMDE data. So hope this video was helpful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the videos that have already been posted and uploaded and hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go ordinance here back with our part two of our series on TMD. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to pull your data reports from RCOP. All right. So if you've ever used RCOP before, there is a, so much data that you can actually pull in RCOP. But to me as a maintenance manager, it is not at times user friendly. All right. So without further ado, let's jump into ASIPs. So just keep in mind, in order to do this, you will need an ASIPS account and you're going to have to go to the app warehouse and get the RCOP. All right. So once you click on the RCOP, this main screen will come up right here, right? So there is a lot you can do within RCOP. We're actually going to do a series on all of RCOP, but for today, we're just going to do TMD readiness metrics. You'll click on that. It's going to bring open the screen. So if you know a way around this, please let me know. But every time I, I go in here, I'm not able to actually save the UIC. I, you have to physically put the UIC in all these tabs here in order for it to pull the data. 
So it's going to default to something. So when it defaults to something, just type in whatever it is. You'll unclick it, and then you're going to put in your UIC, right? So once you once you do that, then your master list is going to come up. So this is going to tell you everything that you currently have enrolled in TMD, right? And it's going to tell you your next calibration dates right here. And if there's a status, if you have something in shop or evac, it's going to tell you right here your status, ready for calibration, completed, awaiting pickup, right? So from there, you can go to the master list summary. From here, it's basically just going to tell you total lines, CPU, CNR, okay, calibrated before use, total lines for training. If you have lines evac, it's going to let you know. And from here, it's going to give you your percentages, okay? So just keep that in mind. And then for the in shop status report, it's going to tell you everything that's in shop. So right now we have one right here is evac to another TMD lab and it's been in this status for 18 days. All right. Now my favorite is the TMD summary report. You're able to pull most of your data right from here, especially if you're trying to build battalion and brigade slides, you can do it right from here. Um, most of the time, like your, your labs will send out a in shop delinquency report, but if they don't, you can pull the data right from here and it's pretty accurate. So if you look at the master list summary, right? You go over to the left, you're going to look at 20% of our 24 lines that we have enrolled in TMD are in shop. There's six work orders open, okay? And then our availability rate is 79%. So in the event that you want to look at what, what is evac, you can click it. You can view work orders. Whoop. You can view the work order and it'll tell you what equipment is actually evac Come on. There you go. Having some mouse issues, but it's gonna bring up the data for what it is by serial number nomenclature the last action and if it was evac right so pretty cool and then like i said if you go back to the tmd summary you can pull all your data from here and what's nice is at the top here it'll tell you 61 and 90 days due so this is your projection right so within the next 90 days you're going to have three items that are due for calibration when this column is 90 days plus so 17. So keep that in mind. So I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, there's a lot you can do in here. The only downfall to this is, like I said, every tab you go into, you have to load your UIC. Uh, unless if you guys know a way to actually save your UICs and data here, please share in the comments down below. But I hope this video was helpful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the rest of the videos that have been posted. And like always, hit that like and subscribe button and go Ordens. First class V here back with another video on maintenance operations and today we're going to close out our TMD series. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to export your data from RCOP. Okay, this is part three of the series and the final video. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the previous videos, hit that like and subscribe button and leave some comments down below. If you're looking for a certain topic to cover, like I said, just leave a comment and we will work it. So without further ado, let's jump into RCOP. So in the previous video, I showed you how to get to RCOP and how to navigate the TMD portion. So today, I'm going to teach you guys how to export your reports here. So RCOP is pretty cool because it gives you multiple, uh, multiple different options when exporting data, right? So if you were to go up here to download for the master list summary, right? We can either do it by image pdf or powerpoint so if you're trying to put a powerpoint presentation uh presentation together on like battalion or at brigade or just you just want the data in a powerpoint format it's going to do it for you you don't have to go in there and actually put it in excel and you know cut and paste and do all that stuff right it's going to give you your powerpoint so we're going to do it in pdf version today so you can have a choice of specify sheets from the dashboard specify sheets from the workbook so we're going to do it like this and you can pretty much pick what you want to do, right? 
I want it in landscape and I'm going to hit create PDF. So what it's doing now is creating the PDF for the data that we pulled. So let's open it and see what we got here. All right, let me share my my screen with you guys. So here's the data pulled. In a PDF format. All right. So like I said, there's multiple ways you can do this. Um, let's go ahead and pull it again, but we're going to pull it as a PDF or a PowerPoint. All right, this view. Boom, download. Open. Let me share my screen here with you and show you what it looks like. So when you pull from as a PD, uh, PowerPoint, it's going to say TMD, TMD readiness metrics, the data was created and it's right here for you. All right. So that's how you export your data from the TMD portion of ARCOP. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you check out the previous videos that are posted. Hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, go ordinance.